Oh, that's it. This is my charging box uh, for my EV, and um, this box is, um, is, is is when I actually plug it in, it will uh, pull six, seven kilowatts um, continuously uh, to charge my car. The problem is that um, it doesn't adapt. I asked the company if they would work together um, with me, so to uh, so I can adapt it and based on the energy coming from the sun, for example. A charged car because from next year on uh, we'll have to pay electricity based on the uh, maximum uh, peak in the uh, current which is uh, pulled from the from the net um, they even didn't respond so if they don't want to do it let's do it ourselves So what we will reuse, we will reuse this one. We won't use this, but probably we will keep it on there to make it easy. And here, uh, this is something which we will completely replace. Uh, we'll try to do it as good as possible to, if it's not working, anyway. So what we will be using is this box. This is Open EVSP. It's a... Uh, 200 euros electronics, which it does exactly the same as that one. The only difference is I can decide and I can control everything. Uh, this is the switch uh, toggling, the, and linking the outlet towards the car. This is to uh, measure if some uh, current is flowing. This is the AC-DC module to make sure that the board can be powered with the AC and does all the switching and so on. Actually, the only thing of a Type 2 is it's quite easy. It just connects the power and it has a, two vol a 12 voltage uh, current uh, which dictates uh, a 12 voltage signal which just dictates how um, much current can be uh, used to charge a car. This is an ESP32 which is pre-programmed which um, can be used to control. There's a web server on there and uh, it can be connected to the QTT and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have an open app system which I'm going to connect to this one and so uh, a Z-Wave uh, meter which actually measures the power uh, going towards the net and also I know how much power there is coming from the solar panels so depending on that I will add the app and say okay I want to charge the car as slow as possible depending on the solar it will increase the current and um, uh, if I for some reason want to have to charge the car quite uh, fastly, then I can increase the uh, current myself. Uh, and the last part is um, LCD display, which I have to include at some point in the screen. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put it there, if that's feasible, or in the reader. Yeah, that's something which I still have to find out. I'm going to solve that one, uh, if I'm going to use this one. Price of this two hundred fifteen dollars, including forty dollars shipping. But still, this has cost me around one thousand euros, and I have to pay a fee uh, to to use it.
doesn't close. This one is on this place. In this pl oh, fuck. over there and now let's um, switch the what is it called in English the the switch <laughs> this is the fuse for uh, the car so this okay. it doesn't go off so that's a good thing isn't it it's there, power is on, the Wi-Fi is blinking and now I have to uh, configure the thing. No network. It's a metal box. <coughs> there is a very small gap at the back of the, um, of the enclosure where exactly this antenna was. So, but the wire is too short, so I'm going to try to prolong the wire and check if I can put that one at the end. It's connected to Westdeck. <laughs> it's connected to my Wi-Fi, but it was very slow. Loading. I put the Wi-Fi outside for now, it's just a loose box to test it. Um, it was snowing so I wasn't filming. Um, I switched on the plug so let's see what's, uh, what's happening. Actually I didn't sleep tonight, I, I was awake quite often because I was thinking there are two possibilities or I do it like I did, did now or I can just um, on the PCB antenna I can scratch it a bit to have the um, the signal in the ground um, visible and then just add an external antenna that's actually an easier solution but I went with this one for now all right Okay, so we built, did build a system which works. The problem is that the uh, ESP32 had to be outside of the enclosure because the enclosure was um, fully metal. Um, that's one option. The other option is that I take an, uh, a Wi-Fi antenna. I scratch the two, and the two uh, traces so I have the ground and the signal uh, independently. And this is something which uh, I used a long time ago um, when I was trying to build or I did build um, a Sony screwdriver, which you could use to pay. Um, I will put the link somewhere below. Um, and I can use this uh, antenna connector. Let's now check if the single string is better. The right connection, but I need the distance. Um, it's a completely stupid 
combination of wires. Oh no! Martin, I have to first seal it with... Visible on the back or on the bottom. I'm so happy. So I'm back inside because it's uh, much warmer here. So it's now charging. My uh, open app system dictates uh, what's the maximum charge. Uh, it can take it's around uh, 4k um, minus the uh, energy which is consumed by the house so it calculates all the time what's the energy consumed by the house and it actually simulates uh, or it sends to MQTT what's the solar power it's not of course a solar power because there's no sun and I put it in normal charging normal charging I just take it's maximum 4 uh, kilowatts so uh, that uh, is uh, received by uh, Open EVSE. Uh, so he currently is allowed to use 3,771 watts, uh, which he then calculates into 15.3 uh, amps. It smooths out a bit the um, how much amp it can use. So now it's uh, running off to 15. So 15 amp is the one which he uh, dictates to the car. But since the car is almost um, full it will uh, it's just consuming six seven point seven amps um, I should be able to see uh, so it's I also have an update of the uh, every 50 minutes of the Nissan Leaf uh, so it's currently at 93 percent it's normal charging and it's connected that's the status which the Nissan Leaf gives uh, for me so it's uh, I think they have normal charging it's connected that's the current uh, which is currently being used uh, that was the last session um, it used uh, was charging 11.9 kilowatts um, unfortunately through the API I can't see what the current session doing uh, so that I only know at the end of the, ch of the charge um, so currently I'm only at 0 0.68 kilowatt hours very happy so uh, I think a total cost of around 250 euros um, and have a working system which is adapting the power or on the household consumption or when I switch it to solar charging to the solar power very happy ah and by the way look it is connected with minus 72 dbm which is the same as the original one which was on my desk like here <laughs>